So what were we talking about? How I got my very first Broadway show. <laughs> you were in this country for how long? One week. We what arrived, year was this? One week, 1960 or 61. How was your English? It was my mother's birthday. We arrived July oh. 7th, 1960. Did your mother come over with you? No, they all lived here. That's why I came here. So um, he came home one day, brought me a newspaper variety, and it said, Nora Kay is looking for strong ballet dancers uh -huh. for a new Broadway show. He came home, your husband? My brother. Your brother. My brother. Sorry. And he said, I'm going to take you there. I said, no way, I can't go there. I don't even understand them. He said, of course you understand. You know all the ballet terms. You learned it in school. That's French. You know that. And uh, don't worry, I'll take you there. So he took me there. We went from New Jersey to New York. The line was... Oh, the line for auditions. For auditions. The line for auditions went around the block. The block. Around the block. And they were looking for a female dancer. It's Mixed all on. women lined up. Oh, and all They're all, all in competition. All... They're all in competition with each other. Right. <laughs> right. For how many open spots? Oh, there are never more than eight or so, but that's only, this was only one call. There oh. is open call, there is equity call, there is final call. So they pick a few from literally thousands, because everybody wants to be on board. And how old were you at the time? Uh, 22, 23. I got married at 19, I was a little bit there, 24. How old were you when you started with the Bolshoi? I didn't dance the, with the Bolshoi. Who did you dance with it, uh, before you came over? I know, I escaped from East Germany and I went to Austria and I danced at the Opera House there. And in Germany, I danced at the National Theatre in oh. Weimar. Uh -huh. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> so you got in line at the... I got in line and everybody was standing up and filling out things, little paid cards, okay? And I see them going this way and this way and that. And they give me a card, somebody comes down the line, gives me a card and a pencil. And I'm holding it and... I'm like this. So one of the girls says, uh, you have to fill out. I said, no, speak English. Oi. Oh, okay. So then she take, goes along the line, gets one of the girls, she thinks it's about my height, puts me next to her backwards, you know, shoulder to shoulder. So five, four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> What's your weight? <laughs> I don't know, 98, 99, something like that. Okay, we put down 100 pounds. And then, you know, a few things. She just filled out for me. Yeah. <clears throat> so by the time I get to, there is a table outside with a woman who is doing all the hiding. And everybody has to show something. And she says to me, Equity card. <laughs> equity card. That's the that's the union. That's the actor's equity. So I said, me, no equity, me dance. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and she looks at me. Yeah, but where's your equity card? No equity card. Me dance. And she looks at me. And she looks me all over. And she says, hold on a second. <laughs> Goes in, comes back out with another woman, introduces her as so-and-so. She's the directing, uh, the 
the casting director, yeah. Lillian Stein. Oh, that's a... And she says, oh, where are you from? I said, from Germany, from East Germany, escape from Russian zone. Oh, hmm. okay, come in with me. Out of hundreds that were already standing there for hours. <laughs> Wow. took me right in and at that time they brought like 10 or 15 more in we all stood in a long line and then you step four you in blue step four and you in the green dress step forwards and then the rest thank you don't call us you know and then they tell you to go and change and then the next group comes in and it goes on and on and on so I changed <clears throat> and Nora Kay, she was one of the most famous ballerinas in the United States with American Ballet Theater. She held the audition course, Herbie Ross, that's her husband, the choreographer. He was in London doing some movie or Herbie something. Herbie who? Herbert Ross. 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 <clears throat> So, uh, anyway, I have to, I know, I mean, I have the time, but I don't want to bore you. We got plenty of time. Good. <laughs> so, we are, um, I'm changed and everything, and then finally they picked, like, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, and we all lined up on the stage in our leotards and tights, and again, okay, then they already eliminate a few more before they even dance. And then Nora Kay comes up the stage and she gives a combination and then she has five or six at a time do it and then we have to, you know, repeat her and then you go over there and you go over there. Then again and again and again and again. All kind of things, you know. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, there are very, not too many left. And she says, put on your toe shoes, because this was a show that played in Vienna. It was called the Gay Life. But oh, the that. Gay yeah. Life was the happy life. Right. Now they call it right. the happy life. Right. They don't talk about the gay life anymore. Uh -huh. So the gay life, and it was supposedly in Vienna. That's why they wanted, they didn't want jazz dancers. They wanted classical trained dancers. So uh, she says, go upstairs and put on your toe shoes. Did, and you, did you have toe shoes? Oh yes, I oh. wore them. Okay. So. I'm stopping everybody signing up the stairs and toe shoes, you know. Oh, Spitzenschuhe. <laughs> yeah, Spitzenschuhe. Okay, no, no. Put on my toe shoes. Come down. And again, we're doing all kind of combinations. And then she says, do a uh, big on tour in a big circle, which I ended up leading the whole circle. <laughs> and I look over there in the wings is my brother with about four stagehands. <laughs> and they're all like this to me. Uh -huh. Thumbs up. Say, what the heck does that mean? Thumbs up. In Germany, like good luck or something yeah. is this way. <laughs> your, your thumb goes between your fingers. Yeah. Good luck. That's for good luck. Oh, good luck. Yeah, that's good luck. So I said, what the heck are they doing? giving me the thumbs up. That's <laughs> not good. <laughs> no, they were is it good smiling. or is it bad? <laughs> they were all smiling yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah. So at the end, they thanked almost everybody. They had about eight of them that were in, in a row again. And then 
and call me for what? And Kermit Bloomgarten, the producer, not the director, not the choreographer, the producer. He said, you, you understand me? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, somebody, I want you not to go to any other audition. Uh -huh. You are in my Broadway show. <laughs> you understand? I said, no. my brother, brother, you have a brother right there. So he comes in. He Your said, brother comes out. Yeah. So. He had some English. He lived here. Oh, okay. He lived well, here right, already. Right, okay. they all came. I was the I last one of the family I to see. come here uh -huh. because of my profession that uh -huh. was furthered in East Germany. Mm -hmm. You know, Russian and all of this. Mm -hmm. They loved the arts and ballet and mm -hmm. everything. So I had it better than anybody else. So I stayed on because I loved what I was doing too. But then I I escaped when everybody was already here. So he translates it to me, Marion, du darfst auf keine andere Audition mehr gehen. Du bist in diese Show und bla bla bla. So he looks at me, did you get it? Yes. He said, just in case, tell him again <laughs> 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 to, to make sure, you know, and that's, and you know, there was one little thing when I got the here, the, like after, this was about a week after I arrived in the United wow. States. So the last two days, I knew I had this audition coming up. I went to the American Ballet School and took some ballet lessons because we came on the boat, you know, mm -hmm. from Bremen. That alone took like almost two weeks in those days. <laughs> we came on the a big ship, but we went to Southampton first and voila. So, um, I didn't have any any class. I didn't. Otherwise, you know, you, we, we took classes every single day at the theater too. So I said, okay, I take a couple of classes just to get me back in. And <clears throat> the first day when I told them, they asked me, oh, where are you from? And blah. And they all wanted to hear what I had to say. And they kind of figured out. And of course, the ballet language is the same everywhere, you know. So the next day, that was after I got the exception already for the Broadway show. When I told them, they were like, I could never go back there and take a class again. They were like, it wasn't I pure. It wasn't pure. I heard them talking. I didn't know exactly, but I know they said something like, we are here for years and years and years. I heard going audition every oh, I see. Every going to yeah. listen. And we never get a point. She comes from Europe. And she gets it's a job right away. One week. <laughs> one week she gets a job right away. That's, that's great. That's how I got my first Broadway show. And, and then I went from <clears throat> one Broadway show to another. I performed at night and rehearsed for the next one in the daytime. And that's... I never was out of work one day. What was the pay? <clears throat> what, was, what was the pay back then? I mean, you're a union. Not you're in the union. $150. A week? a week? Wow. But when we went, you know, we had to go on um, tryouts before we opened, before the opening. Uh -huh. We would go to to big cities, mainly. The main one was Boston and Philadelphia and, and, and Washington. 
and you worked on Broadway. Did you also work for uh, like? Um, and also tele on television too. I did. The, did you ever hear of the Bell Telephone Hour? Sure. Was a regular in the Bell Telephone Hour. And <clears throat> oh yeah. Well, and these then, photos, you have photos here of you in the ballet. Back then, um, yeah. $150 is probably very good. Oh, yeah, I have yeah. one Sandy. That's what I was going to spend even out of time. Where are these oh, photos, Auntie? Go into that room, the door. Then, Oh, here we are. Look at his cousin Sean. I can show him with Rudy. Let's be his third birthday, three candles on there. All right, beautiful room here.